What is all this ninja nonsense that has been going on? So he made his move to Mixer. I don't really dive into drama, but I think this is uh, something that I haven't talked about on stream. It's more like a platform news discussion, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it briefly. Okay, so this is what people are talking about, I think. As you guys know, I'm streaming on Mixer now. My team and I have made sure that the transition went incredibly smooth, super professional. We haven't said anything bad or negative about Twitch, obviously, because there really hadn't been any reason to. Over the last couple of days, there have been some things that have been going on that, you know, we let slide. They were kind of annoying. Little jabs, we felt like, but it didn't matter. We wanted to stay professional. But now, if you go to twitch.tv slash ninja, they advertise other channels. They don't do this for anyone else that's offline, by the way. Just me. And there are also other streamers who have signed with other platforms whose stream and channel still remains the same. You can see their VODs. They don't promote other streams. They don't promote, promote other popular channels. But they do on mine. Yes, this is because you are one of the biggest, uh, if not the biggest right now, I don't remember the exact stats, but he is the biggest uh, figure on Twitch and they'd be absolute uh, numbnuts to not do anything with it. I, I don't think it's that weird. Is that super weird that they're doing that? I don't find that, I find that to be completely expected. I've been streaming for eight years to build my brand, to build that channel. 14 and a half million followers. Yeah, you know what? There's also a counter argument to this, which I, I, I quite like. Um, yes, he spent a lot of time and I don't take away anything of that hard work, um, but he has also reaped benefits for being on Twitch. There have been time where he has been advertised on other channels by Twitch. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, that he should be grateful for anything, but I, I'm saying this is how it goes. It's, it's a transaction, you know? And they were still using my channel to promote other streamers. Well, now, there was a porn account that was number one being recommended on my channel. Yeah, that's really bad, of course. And Twitch has had this issue every now and again when there's like a lot of stuff like that showing up. Like they're not able to act fast enough. Surprisingly slow it takes sometimes. Sometimes these accounts are up for like so long and um, th there's no excuse for that. When there's pornography on the site and it, it takes hours for them to put it down, that's awful. And they deserve slack for that because we've had this issue before, Chad. You know, we had issues where, where there's uh, not safe for work content and pornography showing up. It happens every now and again, right? You guys remember that it happens. But when it happens here, it becomes much bigger. And I don't think that's a bad thing, to be honest. I understand that he's worked up about that, of course. But, I mean, I just want to nip it in the bud that if anyone thinks that's Twitch doing that on purpose, then you're in the wrong. I'm 100% certain of it. That's that's not what's happening here. It's just an unfortunate thing. And uh, and they deserve stack for it, sure. And I have no say in any of this stuff. So this is like the, this is the line. This is the straw. We're trying to get the whole channel taken down to begin with, or at least not promote other streamers and other channels on my brand, on my freaking profile. Well, okay. <laughs> Again, I don't want to take away any of the hard work that goes into building something that he's been building, but it strikes me as a little bit entitled and most importantly, very naive because you have options. Like when you start doing something, uh, you can choose to broadcast on your own terms. You can choose to be the publisher of what you do, and you can choose to not be part of someone who takes care of distribution for you. This is the contract you sign. You sign with Twitch, they take care of distribution, they take care of uh, a lot of all that stuff, and it's a, it's a lot of stuff. You, you might think of it just a platform that you just give to, but they also give you a lot. And um, I can, understand the emotional argument of like but this is my thing but unfortunately it's 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 really not it's not your thing it's yours and twitch and now mixer has come along with a big bag of money and you've taken that and that's entirely okay and probably a smart move for you but to then think that twitch cannot do what they want and to think that they have like obligations to fulfill towards you when you've obviously don't have a contract with them anymore that's just i feel like it's a little bit childish you know i'm not i'm, I'm a little bit surprised by that and, and again i understand the emotional argument i stand that that sucks it feels like it sucks a little bit it would be nice if twitch were charity and just deleted the, the channel and then respectfully did nothing with it but they need to make the most of every opportunity of course they're not gonna just with an opportunity to promote other streamers i don't think that's weird you could argue that it's not right but i think it's i, I think it's it's their right to do that. I think it's entirely their right to do that. So for anyone who saw that, for anyone whose kids or, or who just didn't obviously want to see that, I apologize and, uh, and I'm sorry. Yeah, and that, again, I want to stress that that part just fucking sucks and Twitch needs to gather act together there, right? So, but other than that, I'm a little bit surprised that he's mad that he's being treated differently. Also, I mean, the narrative of Twitch right now is that bigger broadcasters are treated differently in a good way. They're invited to all the events. 
the smaller craters are pushed aside. Funnily enough, when you're treated differently in a way that is unfavorable to you, it's nice to make a... Uh, you know what I'm saying, chat? Um, and then... Uh, Stay tuned, leaking my phone number tonight. I think Marshmallow or someone, some other celebrities, celebrities has been doing this. Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing something crazy tonight. Uh, I want to get a little bit more, you know, in touch with you guys, uh, connect with all my fans on a more personal level. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be leaking my phone number tonight. So no, stay tuned. no, he's Baby, not. No. Definitely. It. So I'm giving you guys my number. You ready? It is 312 four. Send me a text message right now. There's going to be a link that's going to follow. Fill it out so I have your information. And I'm going to be able to contact you guys, text you guys personally, send you guys awesome videos, messages, behind the scenes. All right? Send a text to that number. And also, I'll be texting a couple people back personally, asking for your guys Fortnite Gamer Tags. And we're going to hit up some Vic Roy's later on in the week. All right, guys? Blah, blah, blah. This is my number. I'll receive each, every text. Try to reply as many as possible. Long term. <laughs> Oh, fuck, man. Uh, okay. I mean, it's just gotta be, it's just a... <laughs> oh, we sure, I'm sure we can hit some... Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, an automatic reply and then a fucking link. Okay, listen. I will be a little um, biased here in terms of my Swedishness, I think. We have pretty strict laws in how you advertise to kids um, in this country. And I'm not sure it'll apply to, like, all Americans and how you work, uh, how you do it over there. Uh, this really rubs me off the wrong way. And, oh, I fucking hate to see this, man. This sucks. I'm sure you guys all understand what this is. So what this is, is... It's also funny that it happens right when this is happening as well, right? Because he's in the narrative that doesn't exist, but the time tells the narrative that he's realizing here that, oh my god, people actually own a lot of what I do. Let's change that and get all my followers to drop me their phone number so I can then sell that myself. And that's all this is. Now, I'm not going to deny that he probably uh, replied to a lot of these texts. He probably sat there for hours replying to texts. That's, I, I mean, I'm not even going to go into that. He could have done that. I still find that this is a preposterous move to do when you have um, a young audience. So what he's trying to do here is he's gathering a bunch of phone numbers and then he can do with that what he wants and he's um, advertising that he's going to give you behind the scenes looks, he's going to give you a lot of things and he's probably going to follow through on that, you know, it doesn't matter though because at the end of the day he can also go to an advertiser and say hey Mr. Energy Drink Man, I can host this event and do this and I have 15,000 phone numbers to an impressionable group of 15-year-olds uh, that we will reach directly uh, if we uh, push this thing. And Mr. Energy Drink Man will go, fuck yeah, dude, let's do that. This is what will happen. This is what this is for, right? Uh, and to not be, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. That's, that's marketing. That's fine. But I really don't like that is not put forth in, in clarity. I really don't like that he's not saying this. This is what it's for, and I really think it's kind of scummy to pull on the heartstrings of his followers that it, this is all about connecting on an emotional level because it's clearly not the case. And I'll give him that he, he could have sat there for 24 hours answering texts from his followers. I, I'll give him that, but I still don't think that puts him in the clear for me. I still think this is kind of shitty behavior, actually. I really don't like it. But again, it could be that I'm um, very, very sensitive towards advertisement, towards children. And, and when it comes to advertising as an influencer, I think it's really important to just fucking be upfront with what you're doing at all times. And then there's this fucking cringe video here. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be leaking my phone number tonight. So no, no, we... I mean, you could argue that it's all fun and games, right? It's all fun and games, but this, uh, it, seem, it honestly seems quite predatory to me. Like, let's fucking make sure the people that might take this as not what it is, which is an acted bit. Let's make sure we drive that home so people that are young will fucking text me so we can get the phone out. I feel, it feels a little bit fucking <laughs> to me. And I know that's not the case. I know that's not what he feels because he then probably sat there and replied for a shit ton of time. I want to stress that. But man, I, I, mm, that rubs me off the wrong way, man. That really rubs me off the wrong way. Um, but yeah, those are my opinions on the matter. Is it a drama stream now, chat? Oh, we turned it to a drama stream. I think this is more business, sort of like within our scene, sort of discussions though. So maybe it is of interest to you.
I don't know. Ninja is a poopoo face. I, I don't want to go there though. Like, let's just let's just end on this. I think that Ninja has done great work. And I think that he's a very good face. And he's been a very good representative for us gamers uh, when it comes to like the interviews he's done in, in classic media, trying to bust a few myths here and there. Not that we need it. We're doing fine on our, on our own over here, but it's been really nice to see him sort of like represent us well. And so, I, I mean, this is kind of why I care about this, I think, because I have... Uh, I have a lot of respect for him. I have, I have, I, I, I think he's done a lot of good things, um, and it just sucks to see this a little bit. I think, I think I'm, I think I'm like a parent, guys. I'm turning 30 this year. I think I'm like a parent who's disappointed. <laughs> but don't like if you're gonna rip the contract with Twitch and go to Mixer, don't expect them to treat you like any other broadcaster when you do that. Of course they're gonna fucking do something with your channel, and it's in their full right to do so. And if it is to upload prawn, then that will happen. <laughs> no, that bit fucking sucks. Twitch, get on it. Fix it, yeah.